think it, you know it's having been born with a visual impairment which is why i was a paralympian rather than an olympian um i've always had challenges thrown my way and i've always had to overcome them i've always had to see beyond them but weirdly despite being visually impaired despite having no color vision lack of depth perception struggle with bright light i'm incredibly visual in terms of the way i learn the way i remember and the way i think and i was able to see when we won the bid for london 2012 which was I think I think I've done the maths and I think I remember rightly it was seven years, one month, 28 uh, days before the Paralympic finals on that finish line. And I had no idea what it was going to look like. But in my mind's eye, I could already see that that's where I wanted to be. And then as I went through the rowing career, obviously I had Beijing 2008 and various world championships. I changed. I changed shape. I changed. I, I grew up. I grew older. Um, the crew around me changed. Everything changed. And not until very soon before 2012 do we even know what the kit looked like. So the more I could see that picture, the more detailed it became, you know, then, then when I knew what the kit would look like, I could see us in the kit crossing the finish line and I knew what the medals looked like and I could see the medals. And so having that positive visual aspect of it for me has always been there, despite the fact that I'm visually impaired, which sounds completely mad, I know, but having that there. And that's always been the case for for me in 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 life um i uh left a toxic relationship four years ago and i had to live with a friend for two years and i wanted to buy my own place and i visualized the sort of I'm like right i want a power shower i want it to be a short walk from marlow high street this is what i want these are my must-haves and i almost had it in my mind what it would be so when when i saw it i was like yes this is where i need to be and i made it and it made it happen so whether my thinking it made it happen or not, or whether life, you know, scenarios and consequences made it happen or not, I'm not sure. But I've always been a very strong visual sort of image person in my mind. And I definitely think it's helped. Um, and it, it's always a positive image. I do sometimes get, you know, negative images in my mind, but I always try and think about those positive ones.